And as we were like really talking about this, you know, customer uh, who are looking at, you know, uh, how are you also seeing the intersection of Kubernetes and CloudFormer? Because we talked about a lot of customers who are heavily invested, but a lot of customers, they are also dipping toes in both or looking. So talk about that space, how we're looking at that space evolving. Yeah. If your aim is to enable developers, you need a developer experience. Whether this is with Cloud Foundry or with a Kubernetes stack, doesn't matter. But throwing developers in front of a vanilla Kubernetes is potentially not a good idea to do at scale. That's at least our experience. Like a lot of people want you to make that belief, Kubernetes solves the problems for everyone. I don't see that. It's not delivering the application developer experience a developer platform would do. It's never meant to do that. So you need to put stuff on top. The Cloud Foundry Classic stack is a good alternative to Kubernetes at scale if you have thousands of developers. But Cloud Foundry is never a contradiction with Kubernetes as Corify, for example, brings the same user experience to Kubernetes. And we've seen clients asking, saying, hey, we, we have those, let's say, more remote um, regions where we would like to have a Cloud Foundry developer experience but we don't want to roll out an infrastructure-heavy Cloud Foundry environment based on VMs. This is where Corify comes into game, into the game. And we can, you know, with, with any nice Corify, then provide an alternative to also address those smaller segments. And this is not only smaller regions, this is all the smaller organizations. Because you don't have to have like a five or six digit monthly infrastructure commitment uh, to get to that developer experience. So I would say Cloud Foundry is very well alive. However, I also predict that you will see within the next 24 months, a lot of application delivery stacks pop up in the Kubernetes ecosystem. And whether and how much share Corify will have there, we'll have to see. It could be that you will have um, a segmentation of the application delivery experience in the Kubernetes space as different approaches with different opinionation and different assumptions will attract different uh, customers. So we will see a further clustering of that landscape and there will never be this one technology again that dominates it all. So my prediction would be the Cloud Foundry experience will continue to exist. The Corify will get its market share, but there will be other ways to deliver applications as well.